Hey there, this is a quick walkthrough of how to style a layer of vector data in ArcGIS Online's uh, online mapping platform in the Map Viewer. Um, this assumes you've already got the data added. If you have not added your data yet, you can simply click on Add Layer um, and do that. I'm using an upload data set here that is based on um, a lab for GIOG 2011 at University of Georgia of some county level um, temperature data. Um, if we zoom in here, I'm just using my scroll button. I can also just do this. Um, you'll see these counties um, resolve themselves um, automatically. As you zoom in, you get more detail. Um, and right now it just shows a blank, everything's blue, right? It's not doing very much. And so if you wanted to do just a simple styling of these data, you need to access the style um, menu. And that's over here on this side, um, so it would be under styles. Um, before we get there, I'll just point out, you can also look at tables over here. You can change the base map. There's all sorts of stuff you can do that are that's map focused. That's what's over here. So if I wanted to switch to the light gray canvas, I can do that, or the dark gray canvas, these kinds of things. Um, I encourage you to explore those. If you're new to Map Viewer, there's lots of different options that are available here. But for now, if I just want to um, style this map, I can go up here to Styles, and I'm going to pick a field. So in this case, I'm going to use um, maximum temperature, uh, median maximum temperature. This is data for April of 2019 um, from the DayMet data set. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. And immediately, ARC is going to spin here and say, well, how do you want to visualize this? It's got lots of options you'll see here of, of visualization um, strategies or tools, visual variables, as we might say. And it's going to say, actually, it thinks you should do a choropleth map. Use counts and amounts going high to low. Um, you can also do above or below. You know, you can do different kinds of visualization schemes. So this is just a one, light to dark. But if you want to center it around the middle and have two different hues of um, color. Here it would do that for you as well and you'll see how this looks different. Give it a second. So here the high values and this actually works well with temperature are red and the low values are blue and you have the ones in the middle are just kind of gray here. So it's a better option for showing extremes. Kind of like that. Let's just stick with that. Um, then we can click on style options here and it will actually show you how it's classifying these data. By default, I believe it's going to do a continuous data set, meaning or a continuous value, meaning each of these counties is going to fit on a spectrum somewhere. And it provides you with a kind of a baseline of where you want this to be. If you wanted the, the threshold for these darker reds to be higher, you can move it up or down. But you can see it's not like it's moving them kind of categorically. They're just kind of generally going um, lighter or darker. Another option that you might want to choose is just to classify the data. And that means they get grouped into chunks. So you've got different classes of counties. And here you'll see it'll look a lot less kind of fuzzy and a lot clearer here when this resolves. So here we go. We've got five cla four classes, one, two, three, four. You can change here if we want to go to five. And you'll see those sharp breaks now. We don't have that same kind of continuous look. Um, so if we wanted to do five categories. We can change five here. We can change the classification strategy. Um, this is something that's really common in cartography. You can choose natural breaks. Um, they also have equal interval, standard deviation, quantile. Let's just choose standard deviation. And what this will do is it will automatically set these breakpoints between these different groups at one, two, three standard deviations from the mean. You'll see that kind of listed here. And actually it, it, it includes that zero point in the middle. So actually the middle group is from half a standard standard deviation below the mean to half a standard deviation above the mean, right? And you can kind of see how that looks. I don't know if I like that as much actually. So let's go with, uh, um, we'll go with quantile here, which has an equal number of counties in each classification. And you can see there's lots of options here. You can change the color scheme if you want to, that would be up here. Um, I can click on this and it will give me different symbol styles. Um, you know, if I wanted to use another light or um, diverging color scheme, um, I can choose here. Actually, that's just going to do it by um, color. Let's just go ahead and um, do this. I'm just going to pick a different one. So that's this one. Um, let's do this, the red to green. If I click on that, you're going to get something that looks more like this and give it a second to update. There we go. Eh, whatever. We can live with that. 
If you want to change these cut points, you can either drag this or you can literally click on this point and change it to a higher value and type it in just like that. So it's pretty straightforward to use. So you can see there's a lot of power here in terms of how um, this is set up. There's a lot of um, ability to kind of change the way your map looks um, when you're done if you want to um, you want to make sure that you're kind of satisfied with everything. You can see how it looks here. Um, and then I believe um, you can then save it, which you want to do. Otherwise, it's not going to save automatically. You have to say test map and it will save it in your ArcGIS um, folder. Um, and then you can share it when you're done and make sure it's visible for everybody who wants to see it. Right. So if I click save there, it'll give me a um, and it'll ask do you want to share the layer too because people need to be able to have access to the data layer underneath this and if i share the map now and click save um, that'll set who can who can actually access it um, and so then to share this map is really straightforward if i um, copy and paste the url that's here um, i can go to a new browser once the sharing settings are set up correctly and just copy and paste that same link there and it will open a version of that map that um, I can um, access in any, any place. So that's a basic overview of how to create and style a map. Um, hopefully that's useful for y'all.